over at St. Mary's in Westfield, a student's artwork was selected among the best in New England in an annual competition. The inspiration for the drawing, however, might give you the creeps. Steve Kiltonic has the story. St. Mary High School senior Maura O'Neill's love of drawing goes back to her childhood. Probably like when I was like five, my dad and I would like have these little coloring books and like we would sit like on the floor of our living room and like draw together and he'd show me like how you can blend like the colored pencils together and I thought that it was just so cool. And he just basically said that I have like a really steady hand and that like I was able to see like the lines of like the things I was drawing easier than other people could. Maura, a student at St. Mary's since preschool, took a few basic art classes at the elementary school, then an art class in fourth grade with her art teacher, Ellen Sullivan Farley. That was the first time I met her, and you know, you could see right away she was very talented. When she would draw things, she paid a lot of attention to them. She was picking up things about them that lots of times kids don't have the patience to do, mm -hmm. even at that age. These would be darker up here. However, Maura's first serious art class wasn't until her sophomore year. My favorite things to draw are definitely people. I love drawing like realistic kind of like features and I don't know, it just always like made me interested to see how like different parts of like the face have like different skin tones. Last year, UMass Dartmouth contacted Farley about submitting some artwork from her students for their ninth Emerging Young Artist Juried Art Exhibition. Maura created several black and white sketches for Farley to choose from, a fabric drawing and a sketch of a young girl. This one of Maura's six-year-old dog, Ellie, a German Shepherd mix, could have been submitted but wasn't completed in time. Because it really has to be original. And then ev anything that's done in real life is always preferable because that's when the, the artist really starts to stylize things their own way, make their own composition. And she wanted to do a person. Over the years, Farley has collected many props for her students. About 10 years ago, the school inherited a set of auction dolls. Somebody left these three dolls, which all look like they're from a horror movie. They're porcelain and they sort of look real. And I remember the women in the office were saying, I came in and said, hey, these are cool. We could draw these. And then right away they were like, take them, take them. And, and I'm like, why? You know, we don't like them. They're very creepy. This old broken doll that had been sitting for years on a shelf here in the art room just gathering dust served as the inspiration for Maura's submission to the college. Yeah, she's humanoid. You could, she could sit in that chair. You can pose her. And uh, so that's what she did. The first day that we had set up Creepy Doll, I had woken up and I had had like a really bad bloody nose. And I came in the next day, I was like, Mrs. Farley, it's the doll. It's definitely the doll. So we just nicknamed it Creepy Doll. Maura worked exclusively on the drawing for about two months during class before it was completed. In December, Farley sent four separate drawings from her class to the competition. The College of Visual and Performing Arts at UMass Dartmouth annually showcases the talents of New England's young, exceptional artists. The Emerging Young Artists juried exhibition was highly competitive. 656 submissions were received from young artists at high school art programs across six states. Only 178 were chosen for the online exhibition, which includes a diversity of artwork, ranging from photo, digital, and video, to painting and drawing. I think in the category of uh, graphite drawings, I think that stood out in, in the way that it was a portrait, but it's not a portrait of a real person, it's this doll mm -hmm. who's got this glint in his eye. <laughs> Maura was in her first period class when the announcement of the winning entry came over the intercom. I'm like, oh, congratulations, Mara made it into the, the competition. And I was like, what? 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 what do you mean? I was so tired that I'd like, I was like, wait, was that me? Did I do something? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah. Mora admitted she was totally surprised. It's just crazy. Like, I never realized that, like, I could achieve something like that, especially, like, in drawing. Like, I never thought I was, like, a good drawer. <laughs> Creepy Doll has given Maura newfound confidence and validates the artistic talent that her teacher knew she had all along. It was also the first time a St. Mary's student has ever been selected for a jury competition. I think it encourages me like, to keep going with art because a lot of times I get really frustrated and I'm like, it doesn't look good, I can't do it. 
like there's no way I could draw something like that. But like it shows me that I definitely can if I try hard enough. Mora plans to attend Merrimack College next fall, but art isn't in her immediate plans. I'm looking to do uh, marketing business, like advertisement and that kind of stuff. I feel like I'd be good applying my creative abilities to a field like that. No matter what career Mora chooses, she can always turn to a pencil whenever she feels inspired to draw. Ellie is destined as a gift for her parents. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic. Wow, some real talent there. If you'd like to see the entire Emerging Young Artist Juried Exhibition, head over to iobserve.org for a link.